Hi everybody, welcome to Gooey Plays. This is uh, SimCity Builder again. I've recently constructed the Vu Tower to do disaster challenges, so that's what this video is going to be about. If you stick around as well, I'll uh, explain to you guys what I've been doing in my city, for those of you who are interested. Um, I've already done one dis disaster challenge, it was a meteor challenge, the first one. Because um, I wanted to know what to expect. It destroyed this building here, this tall one. Just that one and um, I had to reconstruct the building and it gave me a reward of three golden keys so a lot better than doing um, cargo shipments for golden keys because you get more than one I've only ever got one max from each shipment and I don't I don't think you can get any more than that or I'm not 100% uh, but three keys for that meteor disaster challenge you un I'm not sure when you unlock the view tower but it's been unlocked for quite a while but it was 60 thousand simoleons to build it um, and it took around 12 hours I think to construct so I did that yesterday and um, like I said I've done one challenge but when you know there's a challenge available there's a little tornado icon at the top and if you click on it you need um, disaster challenge items so the, the button thing the gloves and also the other item I'm not sure what that is See if I've got any, oh, it's the battery thing there. So you need a combination of those, so we need three button thingies and one glove. So this is a UFO challenge. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here, I can't zoom in or anything, I've just got to watch. So I think it's, oh this one, is this one destroying more than one building? Looks like it is. Oh, is that a, no it's not going to do that one, I thought it was going to destroy a, some government buildings there, so that's three towers destroyed. So you get a slightly different icon for destroyed buildings. It's a little hard hat here, so what is that? A barbecue. I haven't even got the stuff to build a barbecue. So we got a lot of keys for this. So three keys for that one, so we can do that one already. So there, that's three golden keys. Um, we need one cement, which is a, key, a reward of one. Two keys for that one with a barbecue. So, I'll probably try and buy a barbecue in the trade HQ, although I've never seen a barbecue in there. Actually, I'll check quickly because I haven't checked Daniel City for a while and I know he sells um, some rare items sometimes. I'm going to buy all this, but he hasn't got a barbecue. Or any cement. So, this is a really good way to get golden keys. Um, and I think there's no time limit as well. I think you can do another one straight away. I oh, know you need to repair the buildings. That's right. And if you if you're in the process of constructing a normal building like this one, um, you can't do a disaster challenge. So as soon as I've constructed these buildings, then I'm going to be able to do another disaster challenge straight away, so I can get more golden keys, which means I can build more specialization buildings, which I want to do because I've still only got the other two that I bought, which is an airship hangar and um, the Department of Transport over here, which is out of the way because. I wanted to squeeze as many buildings in as I could. But I'm actually going to try and buy a barbecue and a cement in the trade HQ. So I'll be back in a minute if, if I can do that. Probably not because you know how hard it is to buy stuff in the trade HQ. So I spent a few minutes in the trade HQ but I, I didn't have any luck getting those items that I need. So I'm just going to construct those. Um, so one cement, we've got enough to build. I'm going to have to construct, Is it a, I'm not sure where the barbecue would be, Is, would it be in home appliances? More than likely. So I might have to construct those buildings, although I am short on space at the moment. I guess I could shift a couple of buildings over here, because I've been expanding over here. Because um, I plan on bringing my city out in this, this direction, keeping the long straight roads because that's the most efficient design. Um, as least roads as possible, obviously, then it's cheaper for you because you don't have to be upgrading a lot of roads. And also you can squeeze um, plenty of um, residential in and you can give them good cover because I'm just going to emulate this uh, layout of the hospital and stuff again over here so that it links up with the edge of all these buildings here because that's the extent of my service cover. So I'm going to build some more over here when I've built the rows long enough. 
to meet up with the edge of these buildings so I'm gonna basically just be a clone of what's going on here over there you can see I've got some large park areas so it's like four central parks it's six um, peaceful parks so these buildings in the middle here all these skyscrapers are getting a massive population boost because they're right in the middle they're being covered by all six parks on that side and that side um, same over here as well I've tried to retain some of the original tall buildings because it looks pretty and I don't really want all skyscrapers because it would look a bit daft so I think I'm going to move um, city storage building temporarily over here and I am going to construct home appliances I'll probably construct them both but I think home appliances would have a barbecue in it I hope so yep so there's the barbecue we've got enough to build that 2 hours 44 I'm going to build it now with sim cash obviously sim cash you get from achievements um, so we've got enough to build that so that's two golden keys and let's see if we've got enough sim cash to construct this we can't construct the cement because we've got some other stuff being built so I'll come back to that in a moment anyway um, so I might as well build the other building as well while, while I'm at it fast food restaurant, I'll make a bit of space just shift over a couple of these over here someone did point out in the comments that apparently building shops and stuff next to residences is a good idea because you get a lot more um, balloon tool tips like that one, or the blue ones which means you are a lot more likely to get items, you know, such as dozer items and city up storage upgrade items and things, so might be worthwhile dotting them around your city near your residences because you get more of the blue tool tips. So we are going to build the other Fast food restaurant. I'm going to bring you a video soon on how to get more money as well because um, someone gave me an idea of how to get more money quickly. So I'm going to bring you a video on that. So let's see what we can build in the fast food. Ice cream, sandwiches and pizzas. So I'm going to quickly see if I can get some more cement again. Because it shouldn't be too difficult to get some cement from the Trade HQ. So we can finish off that last uh, building. Could check my friends' cities, but I've got an awful lot of friends. It'll take me a long time to do it. Usually just buy, there's some cement, see if we can get that. Usually just buy um, city upgrade items from my friends' cities. And there's one guy who sells a lot of those. See if we can get that. Nope, it's already gone. This is probably the worst time of day to be trying to buy in the Trade HQ. It's four in the afternoon here. Best time to do it is early morning in the UK when most of the you know most of the Americans are asleep and there's not that many people doing it. See so if we can buy this one. Yeah, we got that. That's good. So we can finish off that disaster challenge, and maybe we can do another one as well if we've got time. Uh, if we've got the tools to do it, I'm not going to upgrade that building because that wants cement. So that is disaster challenge complete. We've got 20 golden keys, so actually I can probably build um, the Ferris wheel now. So I might make room for that and stick that in somewhere. So I'll put that in another video. I'll double check what um, what specialization I want to build. I might go for a separate specialization as well. So we've got another disaster challenge available. We're not able to do because we ain't got the items. The Earthshaker 9000 works great on my ant farm. Could we try it on the city now? So that I'm guessing that's an earthquake. So now you can get UFO attacks 
Um, meteor attack is what I had, and earthquakes. I'm not sure what else there is. I've actually upgraded most of my factories as well. Well, I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of high-tech factories. I've got four. Still got a couple of basic. Oh, are there not other basic? Oh. Yeah, I've got a couple of basics, so I want to get those upgraded, but I'm earning a lot of simoleons at the moment, so hopefully I can upgrade the factories all to the max, and just constantly churn out goods, which I'm going to build now, because you can see a lot of my buildings are idle, so I'm going to do that. So, thank you for watching this video anyway, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, check out my channel as well for more SimCity Build It videos, have a look in the suggested videos below. Also, if you go on my website, gooeyplaysinhd.com, which I recently um, made, you can view all my videos on there, and also you can comment, uh, and it's a little community I want to build up where, you know, everyone can chit-chat, there's, there's an FAQ section, um, hopefully I might put on a forum of some description at some point, so you can ask questions about your favourite games that I play and things like that, but any feedback you've got on the website, please let me know in the comments on this video or on the website. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.